Hey everybody, it's the Candy Camper. It's the Candy Camper trailer reactions. Today we're going to do The House of the Dragon. No S at the end. We're looking at the 2022 uh, George R.R. R. Martin show. I guess this is based off of the books, Fire and Blood. I am not the biggest Game of Thrones person out there. For everyone that knows me and everyone that watched me over on Tones TV's channel, uh, Bad Thought Studios, we kind of talk about it. You'll never see me in any of his videos. I have have seen Game of Thrones. I don't remember any of the Game of Thrones, so I need to rewatch it. He's been pushing and pushing and pushing for me to watch this. Everybody else in the world watches this show, and I hear it's really good. So I'm going to do the trailer reaction. I've never seen it. And hopefully this will get me into the theater like we would do normally with our movies and uh, see if it gets me to watch it. Just a few things real quick I want to mention is that this had a, a budget of $200 million and it had one of the biggest marketing campaigns ever for anything um, value out of over $100 million. That is fucking wild. Uh, and like I said, I've never seen this, so I don't know if it holds up. I'm assuming it does because Tones is wearing a hat. I don't know if that's based off of this movie or show, but. How 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 you guys feeling? Throw it at me. So we are here today to get you into House of the Dragon. Like this is this is the you've been trying to get me into Dexter. I've been trying to get you into House of the Dragon. Now this show is a prequel to the events of Game of Thrones. It was around two hundred years. Um, you kind of, I remember when you were watching Game of Thrones, you did enjoy it. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you didn't have a strong reaction to the show like X X and I. Uh, we we had very crazy thoughts. I remember when we started talking about Game of Thrones for the first time, X and I, was when we were at Disneyland. And we were talking about Season 7 and Season 8 was just about to come out. It was the very first time. And it, it, you weren't necessarily involved in the a conversation. But once we heard about House of Dragon, I thought you were going to jump on. And you just never did. I was really shocked. But, yeah, th- this trailer hopefully will get you to watch the show. Um, of course, you kind of have to know what the you kind of know everything about Game of Thrones as far as like the not the whole storyline, but I mean, what comes with that kind of stuff inside Game of Thrones universe? <clears throat> you know, I, I don't want to say it exactly here on YouTube, but there's there's a lot of weird shit that happens in there. And, <laughs> you know, the, but the action is what um, we loved, what I loved and the storyline. Um, so yeah, that's why we're here today. We want to get you in the house of the dragon and hopefully this trailer does it. Yeah. See the things with game of Thrones is that it's one of those shows that it takes like an hour long episode, hour plus episode and I end up watching it at night before I go to bed. So I'll end up dozing off and, and, or not retaining what I've watched. So I think I need to give game of Thrones a, another chance during the day when I can actually focus and watch it. Um, that's why I never finished the witcher. Witcher was so hard to follow if you're not actually it watching so it. So hard to so follow. So hard to follow. So um, I, I want to go back and give Game of Thrones uh, a better watch. I, I loved it from when I watched it. I just don't, I didn't retain it. And I feel like I missed out on a lot of the the stuff you talk about on your channel over at, you know, Bad Thought Studios, where you kind of go into like the deep details and, and you connect all these dots. I didn't get to do that. And I just watched it as, hey, this is this character. This is this character. I can probably name two characters out of that damn show even though I watched all eight series, uh, seasons. But I think we all can agree that we all know that season eight was a fucking ripoff. Uh, I can I can tell you that. Yeah, I went there. But no, I'm excited for this. I haven't seen this trailer. I, I really want to be part of part of your guys' world, man. I feel like I'm being left out from a it's lot. It's a tough and, world, dog. It's, it's a tough yeah, world. I, I hear that, but I, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Uh, X-Rod, how are you feeling about this? You know, the I was I got into Game of Thrones – I was like, oh, I'll never be a a, a, a throner or whatever the hell they were called <laughs> in the beginning. Uh, <laughs> but my my best friend got me into got me into the show. I used to go once. He was like, dude, we're gonna watch it. You gotta watch it. Went over to his house and watched every episode every week it came out. So then when me and Tones were talking about it at Disneyland, I was like, dude, like I'm I'm hype as fuck. House of the Dragons coming out, and like let's let's do it, bro. And that was how it started you know but uh yeah this this, think, this universe is, is wild it's wild do you think i missed out because i didn't watch it when everyone else was watching it that's why i also didn't grasp it as much i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say i say you missed out on the season eight um reactions because season eight was promised to be the best season because it was ending 
You know, not mm-hmm. not necessarily that we wanted to end. It was just storylines were closing. You you want to see these characters hit their arcs, and just the like the last three episodes were war or not it arcs flipped the it didn't make yeah. sense in some points and you're like what the fuck just happened you know yeah uh, I, I, let me let me piggyback off that i make it a big point to um emphasize how much character development means to when i watch a tv show or movie character development to me is the most important part of of course the the storyline has to be great but seeing a character go from nothing to something is one of the best Percy Jackson <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> yeah in that case uh <laughs> something's <laughs> but but watching shows like that with those character arcs is is what makes or breaks something for me um Game of Thrones for me had two of the best <clears throat> excuse me two of the best character arcs of all time up until the last season and <clears throat> that that is what made season eight terrible for me i did not enjoy it i did not think those character arcs ending in that way because it's very hard to fucking end a character arc it's 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 extremely hard and it it looked like they didn't even try that's that was my big gripe with with game of thrones but you know i loved i loved the versions of the book material of game of thrones so that's why when house of the dragon came out i was like okay there's there's book material there's uh ryan condal is a well-known uh showrunner uh george r R. martin was involved in you know in in making this show and i was like fuck i'm i'm backing it like it's it's a great show and then when i started making content for house of the dragon it it just made me even more hype you know i was doing everything every week every day just making content and all the fans and all the you know stories that people were telling me like this is going to be a great story so i was like Fuck yeah. I, and I don't read the books. I haven't read the books. I give my opinion, my thoughts on the show. And that's why, you know, my, I have a decent following for just giving out my uh, thoughts on the show. And, you know, I don't have that book material to go back on, but people like, you know, just the show portion of it. So it, it, I think I think you will like the um, House of the Dragon for sure. Um, but it's not one of those shows where you can check your, you know, check your text message or, you know, check your Instagram. You have to pay attention. Otherwise you're just, there's no point of watching it. Yeah, for sure. And, and once again, I kind of know that now going from how I, how Game of Thrones has treated me. Um, and also I have one that they're watching, go ahead and make sure you guys go follow, uh, Bad Thought Studios and also x TV where you guys can see some of that content too. It's pretty good stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Watch this trailer. Once again, I've never seen this trailer. I, I couldn't even tell you what this fucking thing's about. All I know is that it's probably about the same shit the other eight seasons of Game of Thrones is about, but just 200 years before. Uh, he's shaking his head no, which is good. I, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be its own thing. Uh, so yeah, let's get it going. I'm excited. Right. You're, you're probably fucking just like ecstatic right now, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I could rewatch. I've watched this season already, what, 10 times already like it, it was that good and uh I, i'll let you watch the trailer but it, it's it's that good to where you know it i'll just let you watch it okay <laughs> thanks buddy i was yeah, gonna go into it. more detail but i'd rather not right now the dream it was clearer than a memory I heard the sound of thundering hooves, splintering shields and ringing swords. And I placed my heir upon the Iron Throne. And all the dragons roared as one. They consider the matter urgent. Oh yeah, they put a lot of money into this. Well, who else would have a claim? The firstborn child. Rhaenyra, no queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. The king has an heir, Daemon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose. Is that the dude from uh, the stat? What are those names? The Ron. The nearest succession will be challenged. (laughs) (laughs) You are the king. Your duty is to take a new wife. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. 
Shit. That's some fucking conflict right there, bro. Do you think the realm will ever accept me as their queen? A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne. Because that is the order of things. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. Your family has dragons. Their yeah, power men should never have trifled with. If Rhaenyra comes into power, she can cut off any challenge to her succession. I am the American <laughs> She will block my way. Our hearts remain as one. Our oh, hearts are never one. Watching that, yeah, I was just about to say that, and knowing where all of that goes <laughs> is just wild. Yeah. Um. Oh, go ahead, yes, go ahead, My bad. Um, I, I was just gonna, I was gonna kick it off for us. Yeah. Uh, that looked like Game of Thrones. <laughs> like you know what I mean? It looked like Game of Thrones, but it had the same. It felt like, I felt like it was kind of like the same story, but just changed. Which I could be completely wrong, but based off of what I've watched, but how that dragon, that dragon's probably the best dragon I've seen on anything, like any any dragon that I've seen in any movie, like that or show. That dragon looked really fucking cool, and I love that they kept showing it. So I'm assuming that's one of the main a main character, a main dragon character. I don't know, um, but I hope so. Another thing too is that the whole queen becoming a being coming the queen and then the the king saying hey you're not gonna be the heir and he's like bitch i'm the fucking heir we're gonna make someone else there oh uh, that well, i was like dude here we go you're you're throwing you're throwing the whole fucking whole shit storm right there that's that's the shit storm and I, you're laughing because i might be wrong but if i'm right <laughs> uh, <laughs> right it's it's but that's what i'm getting out of this see i love that i haven't seen this yet so i've seen i can see some shit storms happening and it looks like there's multiple shit storms about to fucking hail from the sky um it looks really good i definitely want to watch it the fight scenes look badass the the acting looked was fucking great um all the way down to to that once again to that dragon that dragon was fucking cool man that was a cool ass fucking dragon and the egg the egg looked fucking cool too and i love that there's still some stuff from game of thrones like the iron throne and everything like that too and it still had the the same feel like I felt like it was in the same the same realm, the same world. Still, they didn't change anything, which is really nice. Even though it was two hundred years prior. I want to I want to preface this: um, Ga- Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. It is a prequel to. It, it is not a spinoff. A lot of people that come into my comments they they say it's a spinoff, and I think that word has a negative condensation to. Or did I say that right? Condensation? No. No, what is it? Condensation. There you go. Yeah, it's uh, condensation on the side of yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it, it, the dripping. water right off of it. It's still dripping. <laughs> <laughs> I, as soon as I said, I was like, that doesn't sound right. No, feel right. <laughs> no, but a, a lot of people hear spinoff, then they're like, nah, I don't want to fuck it. Like the show was so good, I don't want to watch a spinoff and then ruin it. This is a this is a prequel of written material to a a, a book that came out years ago, like. You know, a whole years ago, so it's not a was spinoff. This, this come out before, before Game of Thrones. This book, I, I don't know. Spinoff? I don't. I don't know the the orders of the of that. I mean, it probably you know the is. Of the Phoenix. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the order of the orders of the Phoenix, but I don't know if he if he started from the beginning and then you know kept going up um, for the storyline. But I do know that it's not a. A spinoff to Game of Thrones. It's a completely different storyline, and it's a book material, a, a source material show, which people need to know that because I, I have people come in and say I'm not watching it, and I'm like, you should, dude. Like it's it's from the books. Like you'll you'll do good. Another thing, people who've read the books, p- the, you should know that writing a book and a script are two different things. 
You're not going to be getting the same thing in the books that you were getting in the show because it's you can't write what's in a book and a show and make it look and sound good like you would. You know, uh, just remember that. And and um, some two things. There's Tony off the other day. Oh my god. <laughs> two things I want to tell you about the show, uh, Candid is one. Um, there is time jumps, which is it's not like a huge deal that you know it. it it's there's time jumps in the show, um, so some of the characters that you see are younger and older versions of them in that trailer. Um, and another thing, Patty Constantine who plays King Viserys, it has to, he probably acted his performance in this show was one of the best I've seen in years, like years, just the acting alone. So this show, this show is something you should get into for sure. Awesome. Oh yeah. X, what do you got to say about it? You're going to do it, bro. All right. And actually I think, you not remembering Game of Thrones and being able to watch this, I think it'll change a little bit maybe your perspective and maybe maybe the way we don't see it. You know, you can mm-hmm. see this a totally different way than than we do because we know the history of what comes next. So there's at some point we know the future of what is going to happen. For you, it might be different. If you start this now, you kind of really don't remember a whole lot coming up. And later on down the line, when you do watch Thrones, you're gonna you're gonna be like, oh shit! Like, all right, this is that happened, and now this happened because of that. You know, certain that makes things, sense. certain things like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you, dude. I, I wish I could go back and rewatch all these episodes again and see first reaction on how uh, on how it was when it first dropped. And it's weird in that trailer. There was a voice in there that I didn't recognize. It didn't sound like anyone. And then you heard uh, Rainier speak, but the voice before that, I don't remember who that was. It was a male voice. Didn't sound like anyone I remembered. Mm-hmm. Did you notice that or no? I I know the voice. So, um, who that voice was? There's ten episodes. So what I'll do is, first off, this holds up. I, I think this does a great job. It, it would, it's getting me into the theater, which is my room. Um, I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch all 10 episodes and I'm going to come back on here with you guys. And I want to give my honest thoughts and reviews and um, kind of talk a little bit about the future. And after that, I'll probably jump into season two and kind of hopefully I can get on the same page as you guys and, and we can keep doing it. And if you guys want me to watch anything else, all of my subscribers, if you want to see me watch anything else that's older um, that I haven't seen, that you probably heard me talk about on other channels. Let me know. I'll, I'll go back and try to watch them. I mean, it's not easy to sometimes just throw everything at one show and then try to remember it, especially because I do jump around with so much other um, other shows. Um, but I'm gonna give this one my full dedication, and I'm gonna watch it from front to back and try not to try not to hood hop between other uh, between other shows. I I just I have to say like you you have to pay attention bro the, yeah. and not because like you're not gonna you you could possibly still get what's going on even if you like but to in, actually enjoy the the beauty of the storytelling in this show you like you will enjoy it even more on top of that just by just by paying attention to the little details and i think that's why x and i you know that's why we loved it so much is because those little freaking details is what matters and i was you... just gonna say that i was just gonna say the little things you might not know it like one person says something so small and insignificant at the time then you know within the next 20 30 minutes you're like oh shit like like the foreshadowing it's all it, the, fo- the foreshadowing in these shows is, is ridiculous and, and it's yeah great. and i love that and i love things that are written that way too and there there's a lot of shows that don't have any of that and, and you're like, if you're like Tony said, you're missing that story arc or that character arc. It's really hard to get into a show. Um, and it's crazy to watch, like even really successful shows that are not as serious as this. Like uh, How I Met Your Mother, for instance, that story arc was so or that character arc was so good. And it, and it broke off into different characters. And then it showed and told their stories and their background and their Over life and did it through episodes. Yeah. Over so years. things like that, where you can kind of just keep going, it, it, that's that creates a fantastic show. And it's seen over and over again when, when they do that. So I think you hit it right in the head there, Tones. You, you know who uh, J.R.R. J. Tolkien Roger is, right? Binks. <laughs> yeah, Roger Binks. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, and you love Lord of the Rings. 
Right? I, I'm I'm a recent lover of Lord of the Rings. I used to give Xrod so much shit because I was like, dude, you're watching these motherfuckers walk through fucking hills and forests and other shit that didn't yeah. make sense. And then I rewatched it older as I'm older now. Holy shit, that's so good. I have not gotten to the Hobbit stuff yet, and I'm very like I need to. I want to watch this Hobbit. Dude, and, can I get you on to something real quick? Yes. You need to watch watch Fellowship of the Ring. Don't watch uh, Two Towers or Return of the King. Watch Fellowship of the Ring, then watch The Hobbit. You're going to okay. notice so many little ass details from both of them that just Hobbit's mix prequel, so well. Right? Is that Hobbit's prequel? prequel. Okay. Yep. Um, th- there's, I can't remember the exact fact, but I remember when it came out, it was filmed. I wish I knew the facts for everybody. It was filmed a certain way. <laughs> Where's so Micah was, when you need him? Right? I, I can't, I think it was in a certain, um, in a certain frame rate or something like that, that was way higher than normal films. Maybe it was filmed in like 60 Hertz instead of 30 or 24, whatever it is. Um, and then also in 3d. So there's a lot of cool things. I think it had a lot of practical effects, which was really cool too. So the, I, the, I need to jump back into that. The The reason why I mentioned that just real quick, the reason why I mentioned J, uh, J.R. token is he has the same kind of writing. George R. R. Martin has the same kind of writing style as him. And oh, so that, 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 yeah, pretty much. Huh? And um, that's why I think. What's that? Tones to, tones are double letters. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, they have a similar writing style. So if you like Game of Thrones, you'll like the same kind of fantasy um, uh, portion of the show and the storytelling as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm excited for this. I, I think you guys, you guys, what, do you, what do you rate it? Uh, we don't rate on this channel, sir. Sorry. Uh, but if uh, I was to rate that trailer, I would give it an eight. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd give it an eight. I think there was a lot going on. Um, I think it didn't tell me all the story, but it had me really wanting to get more out of it. Um, there's a few things that I thought were kind of just maybe I, they didn't need as much. And that was kind of like showing the girl. I know that she plays a big role, obviously, but they kind of just showed her in like flashback and then showed her as her older than they flashbacked her as a girl. And it was just kind of weird. Um, but I'm assuming she's going to be the princess or the queen or whatever the fuck it is. So that, I get it. Um, you, you'll you'll understand yeah. once you watch yeah. it. And, and I'm assuming I will. So yeah, give it an eight. Um, what are you guys rating this thing since we're rating on this channel today? You're oh. going to fucking grill me now. I, I'm a 10, dude. <laughs> I'm giving it a 10. I love it. There you go. I can't, I can't rate it because uh, I'm biased. So I yeah. already know how it all goes. That, that's why I gave it a 10. <laughs> really awesome. biased. I love hearing it. Cool. So yeah, if you guys want to tell them uh, where they can find you at. Yeah, you guys can find me at Tones underscore TV on all platforms. Go follow my TikTok, Tones underscore TV. I do mostly House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones content on there. Um, if you guys want to watch longer videos, go to uh, Bad Thoughts Studios, where we do trailer reactions to movies, TV shows, and breakdowns of uh, those as well. Cool. Uh, extra, you up. And you can find me on all socials as well. Extra TV, extra underscore TV. Uh, get on there. Let me know what you guys think. I'm on Bad, Bad Thoughts Studio podcast as well. Uh, talking Game of Thrones with Tones and hopefully Candid here soon. But uh, And also going to be on YouTube here soon. Come follow. Check out my content and we'll, we'll talk. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and follow, like, and subscribe to everybody that you see here in the screen. All of us. It's fun. It's a fun watch. Um, if you guys want to join us on any episodes, just please let us know in the comments below um, or on our DMs over on Instagram. It's usually easier place to find us. Stop farting on camera. Um, X Rod, thank you. And then <laughs> if you want to get a hold of me, you can find me here on my channel, Candy Camper Trailer Reactions, or on uh, Candy Camper with extra R on IG, Candy Camper over at That Thoughts Podcast. Like and subscribe. Peace.